What's up, everybody? So, electrical's done, and now we're about to start the trim and building the cabinets and drawers for the bus. So that's what I'm gonna be working on today, and hopefully I get all those made. So we'll see how it goes, let's hop into it. Okay, so I got the trim done. Um, I think it looks really good. So we're gonna move into the cabinetry tomorrow. Um, but let me show you the cab or the, the trim in here so you can kind of see what we did. So I added this common board above the shiplap on the dinettes. So I have one there and I have one over there. Um, and then I added the trip here and there and on the other side there and there and then it kind of works its way around the bed frame so it has that nice wood look right there and that's kind of what we got done today and then i got another coat of epoxy on the countertops but that's where she's at ladies and gentlemen Hello, so yesterday we did the trim um, in the bus, which I think just just sets it off with the white against the, the dark walnut stained uh, wood. Um, and now today we're gonna start doing uh, the doors, the drawers, and basically all of the rest of the woodwork that needs to be done in here. So we're gonna see if we can get it all done today, but you know how that goes, so. And this is also the last day that I can touch this build. Cause tomorrow I start the 30 day build with Brandon's bus. And uh, this should be pretty much done. And I'll work on it if I can, you know, here and there while his is getting other work done. Uh, but like this is gonna, I thought I was gonna have this done by July 1st and I'm like right there but not quite there so you know worst case scenario I just finish it up in August but we'll see what happens the universe provides sometimes
Hello. So I only use a couple different kinds of oil, and I actually really like oils um, because it's easy. You wipe it on, you wipe it off, you're ready to put it in. Like you're not waiting on like dry times like paint. So with that being said, all my cedar, like this is all cedar down here. Uh, I just use, I like, I like the look of cedar. And I like to clear it and I just use tongue oil. And then anytime I'm gonna clear another kind of wood, I typically use like a dark walnut, all in one stain sealer. Just trying to make it easy and efficient. So this is what I use for all my cedar. everybody so we're gonna end this video kind of right here for now because tomorrow is July 1st and I'm starting Brandon's build um, so the project bus is like right at the finish line uh, we started doing the last of the cabinetry and the doors and things like that so we basically got the headboard top cut and we decided to keep it with the same stain pattern as all the other trim work um, and then we just need to get some hinges for that which I don't have right now but that's cut sitting there and then we made these um, cedar panel doors for the garage area and they're going to hinge out like this so you're not you know like in my bus it, it folds up you gotta like hold it up it's a pain in the butt so this way it'll just open up and you can get in and out of here no problem and then you can shut the doors and then it's got a really cool you know cedar panel that's hand cedar panel look um and then in the back here so this is the overhead cabinet for the bed area and i made this cedar, same thing hand cedar door and it hinges down um because that way it can just hang there and then you could get in and out of here and you're not trying to same thing hold up a door or i got to deal with struts or anything like that because struts are just you know if you don't have the weight right or you don't have the angle quite right it just doesn't hold so this is a really simple simple way to do to do overhead cabins in a bus is just hinge down hangs do your thing and then you just clasp it or get some kind of lock mechanism up top and you're good to go so that's as far as we got and I will finish the cabinetry up um, probably after Brandon's so probably in August so this thing's done for now and it's gonna you know sit somewhere for a month unless I can get a couple friends in here to kind of wrap it up for me so thanks for watching the video make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more bus building stuff that's what I'm doing in the near future for quite some time so Peace out. Bye.